We're told science is free, creative, and objective. But look closer, and you'll find something very different. The modern scientific academic system doesn't work like a laboratory. It works like a factory. This is no metaphor. It's a historical reality. Science adopted the same organizational model as 19th century industry, the Taylorist factory system, centralized, hierarchical, fragmented by rigid specialization. Just like an assembly line, only instead of producing bolts or cars, it produces publications. In this system, scientists don't freely explore ideas. They execute predefined tasks. And just like in a factory, efficiency and conformity matter more than creativity. New ideas, they disrupt the flow. They threaten the chain of command, and so they are rejected. At the top of this pyramid, a small group decides what counts as science, who receives funding, who advances, and who disappears. These positions are not earned through merit, but through loyalty, submission, and strategic alignment. Favoritism replaces fairness. Political influence replaces intellectual courage. We're left with a sad paradox, a system that praises originality but punishes it, that celebrates critical thinking but demands obedience. That rewards adaptability, not insight. This is not just a bureaucratic problem, it's a moral one. Because the system doesn't just control ideas, it controls people. The same hands that deny your grant can offer your job or take it away. They own your production. They take your time. They even believe they own your future. And yet, those who obey are rewarded with fellowships, with co-authorships, with positions. Not for thinking freely, but for executing orders faithfully. This is how the system presents itself as meritocratic while functioning as a machine for status preservation. In the end, science is no longer the pursuit of truth. It becomes a theater of prestige, a game of survival, and a factory of obedience. But what if there were another way, a way to do science that isn't built on competition, hierarchy, and obedience, but on curiosity, creativity, and shared purpose. That's why we created Evolutio, a research center founded outside the academic system, free from institutional gatekeeping, free from corporate funding, free to explore the big questions of life, evolution, and reality itself without asking for permission. Evolutio is based on a simple but radical idea that science can serve life, not capital. That knowledge should unfold from within, not be imposed from above. That values like equality, cooperation, and inclusion are not obstacles to science. They're conditions for it to thrive. We're building a new model for scientific research, one that is self-sustaining, community-supported, and open to everyone because we believe that another science is not only possible, it's necessary. If you share our mission and values, subscribe to our channel and support us on Patreon. Together, we can begin the evolution of science itself.